kind of want a Relentless Pursuit. I don't know, what do y'all think? I kind of want a Relentless Pursuit. Maybe it gets denied. Maybe like that's what they have like this mana for is like deny and notify. <laughs> Alright, no deny, no notify. There we go. Dark Star Zed. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Shivana kicking it back on over to Ranked. It's been a while since we've been on over and ranked uh, with me being gone for about that week and I was doing some meme tier days before that and, and a, a lab day yesterday. So it's been a long time since we've been playing some ranked. So let's get back to it. We got four unique donation decks to play today, which are maybe not necessarily like the strongest decks in the format, of course. But they should be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can pick up some wins along the way. We're going to be starting with Zed Shivana for our first deck. This one is going to be one where we definitely want our champions if we can. And we're just going to be um, you know, having both champions have a lot of different protection and interaction spells. A lot of different combat tricks. We're going to have field promotions to be able to give our champion scout. Both Zed and Shivana want to attack a whole lot. They both have attack um, abilities, and they love attacking, so the field promotions should help out with that. We also have different protection. We have Twin Disciplines, Sharp Sight, two great combat tricks, Chain Vest, giving them uh, tough. And then we can attack even more with some rallies. We're going to have like Cataclysm that can start a free attack, which if you have a scout unit starting a free attack, then you get to attack again afterwards, because you would attack one time with only a scout unit. Um, then we also have Relentless Pursuit and Golden Ages, more ways to rally, Blade Keeper buffing them up, plus two, plus two. And if our mulligans don't work out and we don't find the Zed or Shivana, then we have Remembrance on round three that we can also kind of go with that of just like a, a big five uh, cost follower from Demacy and just see what happens there. So let's give it a try. That's going to be our uh, deck today, Zed Shivana. First one, let's go play five games in ranked. Silver Zed. So we got both Shivana and Zed are both Dark Star champions. We're gonna have our Dark Star Dark Star board, our Dark Star champions. All right, found a Zed. I unfortunately had to mulligan a lot of good support. All of those cards would have been really nice to have with the Zed. Okay, but we got Twin Disciplines, Sharp Sight back. It's a good thing about Chain Vest. You know, we got a couple of copies of Chain Vest in here. Is that with Chain Vest being only one mana, it pairs really well like round three if you have Zed and then you have like a, one of these two mana spells, you can have an additional one mana spell. It's nice to have those one mana combat tricks. So we got our Zed card back, our Shivana Dragon, Cosmetic Guardian. Pretty sweet. Our side of the board is. But they got the tier one deck. Bingo. Do not fear the shrouded path. So they would have to if we use twin disciplines plus three plus zero or plus zero plus three, like we block twin disciplines. If they have um Shapestone. Shapestone can still get through that. Okay. So we know they're not, no Shapestone. All right, let's just use Sharp Sight then. This actually works out really, really well. That's a good Remembrance draw because we're going to have the, the Living Shadow is going to die because it's Ephemeral. And so now the Remembrance costs five. We have five mana. That actually works out really well. Right, 
Yeah, we'll take it. Round four, Screeching Dragon. Ooh. Oh, Cataclysm. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. All right, so I'll Cataclysm. That thing. I know the Zed's likely going to die, but I'm doing this so that I know they can still, like, if they take the Living Shadow, then Zed levels up and Zed's a 4-3, and then the 4-3 trades with the, my desert, my with the, that thing. So now, I, mean, I guess I just use Sharp Sight again. I guess I just save Twin Disciplines again. So we'll see if they if they have the pump spell. Ooh, they do not have the pump spell to save their merciless hunter. Yeah, they kind of needed that. Oh, I should do I should do the twin disciplines here, shouldn't I? The plus three plus zero. I should have done that. Just do basically do six damage for two mana. Yeah, that would have put them down to one. Go get this thing. But I guess there's not... I mean, not a huge, huge difference between being at seven and being at one. Not a huge difference. They're not, they're not dead either way. It wasn't lethal. So I'm worried about like the double attack card as far as like my life total is concerned. I feel like it's okay to block everything and I'll just pass put the onus on them. I know it kills my Zed but it gets rid of everything on their side. So let's see what they do first. So close to a leveled up Shivana. Yo, so I was, basically I was gonna wait till next round to have this Golden Ages, thinking uh, um, that you know they could definitely just deny the Golden Ages. But like next round I'll have Golden Ages plus deny backup. cards. Face me. I don't think they're gonna be able to give I don't think they're gonna be able to kill me with this living shadow. Ah! 
All right, GG's. I just want to make sure this re resolved first, like if they if the last card was deny. Once it resolves, then I'll, then I'll play the, the other Shivana afterwards. Okay, Aurelia Azir. So, let's see how we do. Alright, we got Shivana. We have a lot of ways to have Shivana attack, which is always cool. But I want to be able to do something before round four. So just how much of this am I mulliganing? And I guess all of it. I'll keep the Shivana, but we need we need to do something else earlier. Or not. Or not. Hang on, Buzzball! Hey! <laughs> I don't think I'm punished for keeping the champion. I think that keeping the Shivana is the thing to do. Look at that. We did it. Wow. That's surprising. Obviously, we were going to have to take that. Which does mean no field promotion on the Shivana. If I want to play Shivana next round. And obviously, I want to play Shivana before Blade Keeper. Okay, I could Concussive Palm next round. Alright, so we could Concussive Palm here. That's my resting face. Yeah, we could Palm here and then next round promotion Shivana. Okay. Gonna attack with that? Oh wow, the Doom Keeper! Oh man, that was like the only card. <laughs> they, oh man, that's unfortunate. You cannot win. So I take one extra damage, but then that thing's dead. Yeah, that was quite. Quite unfortunate. Fire and fury burn in me. What's today's lesson? They are nothing. The screen glade duo may kill me next round. I guess that is possible. Well, no, because I have the cataclysm. Alright, so probably won't. Risky attack. Shivana turns into a 6-6. Six, six. They only have one card left. I guess they can block with the Green Glade duo though and trade with it. Hmm. I was just thinking about these things. The Green Glade duo could trade with it. If that's not units. Oh man, that's the worst possible card to see. Yeah, that was the best possible card for them. So now do I kill the duo or the Aurelia? Where are you at? You're only at 7 out of 14. So this would be 3 for 10 and then... Alright, so they will be able to level up. And then this. Okay, I guess I'm just kind of dead, aren't I? That was the card. Okay, so I guess... Alright, wait. I can, I can deny that. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. I can deny that. And play this thing as a blocker. Also. I am more than yeah, that's going to be what we have to do. You are unlike anything I've ever seen. Because, let's see, if I would have... Oh, no. William. Alright, well, really good thing I didn't Cataclysm. Them having William, but still... Yeah, they don't level this up, but still. We are very dead. I 
Yep, very dead. That's too bad. That that Aurelia. I thought that we had it until that Aurelia. That was the perfect card. And last two cards of Aurelia plus Will of Ionia. Great hand. Great hand. Get that. Okay. Alright, we're going to have Jarvan Shen. We're going to send our cards back. I really hope when we find Zed or Remembrance for three, round three that is, but if not, then it's going to be Shivana on four. All right, Tuesday. Tuesday sounds good. I'll have you down for Tuesday. So I can ghost Shivana this round, but they could also have they could also have Sharp Sight. Well if they have Sharp Sight, none of those things stay alive. Cause I can't really just attack in because of twin disciplines. Twin disciplines is kind of broken. If I ghost an attack and they just don't block at all, this still just stays a 3-4. So basically all I'd be doing is I'd be just doing 4, then 5, so I'd be doing 9 damage. I kind of don't think that's worth it. I think I'm going to save the ghost. The balance requires a watch. Okay. Break them. Yeah, I don't know why they made that block. That <laughs> that block was just it was really good for me that they made that block. So then I got the plus one, plus one with the fury. So that worked out quite well that they blocked. So yeah, we know they d at least at the time of two rounds ago they didn't have anything more expensive than Shen in hand. I will show you no mercy, Sevro. The halls are bound with blades in hand. I sense an imbalance. So the question is, use Sharp Sight to kill the dragon, or use Sharp Sight to kill the River Shaper. Yeah, we're gonna kill the dragon. I think they got sharp sight. I guess we can check. Have the sharp sight test. It makes it more difficult for like concert, like killing that dragon makes it now more difficult for concerted strike if that's a card that they had. Oh, they do have sharp sight. Rude. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so yeah, we still win if they don't have another sharp side if I do the plus 3 plus. If I do plus 3 plus 0. 
Yeah, they have to have a second sharp sight. And then, oh, then I still have rally, so yeah, we're good. Because I still have three mana for rally. Okay, man, Shivana gets super big, super fast. 14 power, Shivana? Dang. Thank you, thank you. Two and one. Okay, back to Zed Sivir, but then they threw an auction in there. So three Sivir, two Zed, one auction. Zed. And we have the attack token. Round three. I would like to find Chain Vest or Ghost. I would like the one mana spell. We are Zed heavy. We are Zed heavy. Repost could be a card, I suppose. Or no, 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 they're not Demacia, never mind. Repost cannot be a card. Kinda want a Relentless Pursuit. I don't know, what do y'all think? I kinda want a Relentless Pursuit. Maybe it gets denied, maybe like that's what they have like this mana for, is like deny and nopify. All right, no deny, no nopify. There we go, Dark Star Zed. All right, so I still have two protection spells available. Business as usual. I think we just take it. What's their plan? Lifesteal Barrier? Their plan could be Lifesteal Barrier. Yeah, Lifesteal Barrier is really good these days. Hmm. They follow the wrong master. So I'm gonna just simply attack. Make it worth my while. Instead of doing the plus three plus zero. Definitely wish we had more rally cards. So I'm quite scared of the lifesteal barrier card. So yeah, we could pump up to 11, but again, I'm just going to be going this round. Yeah. Killing them that round was an option, but also not a necessity. their plan they're not they didn't want to play any unit yet Sand in trouble. yeah why 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 do they want to pass the round and not play that card it's a good question i don't have the answer to yeah i think ruin runner is bugged because usually, like, when you play a champion, then it turns into a champion spell afterwards. You can't play more of them. Like, I wish I could play more Zeds. But, like, they just played a Ruin Runner and then just played another Ruin Runner. It's not turning into a spell. I don't get it. Awesome. Good job, Zed. We are three and one. They will all learn to feel my order. Oh, uh, we lost to Aurelia Azir, and so we got Aurelia Azir again. Like I said, I haven't been in ranked in a long time, but I guess people just probably just play the two, like Ionia Sharima bunch, right? Because these are the two best regions. 
We only played against one deck that wasn't Ionia Sharima out of the five. Last time I kept Shivana, Mulligan the rest, and it was a little slow. But I think I'm, I think I still do the same. Awesome. I love having the Egghead Researcher for a blocker. What was the third deck that we played against? Actually, so wait, we played against Sivir's Ed twice. We played against now Aurelia Zier twice. What was the other deck? I already forgot. Jarvan Shen, that's right. So yeah, it was still Ionia. I thought it was still one of these regions, right? It was still Ionia, but then just... That other one. Find your own. Want to do this though? They can have so many cards to save their really uh. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. So next round, five, six mana. Always forward. One mana short next round from Riposte and a Cataclysm. I want to draw another. I want to draw some kind of protection that's cheaper than Riposte. Right, or not. Yep. That was the card I was worried about. All right. So we shall play field promotion plus, I guess, Zed. And then if I, hmm. If I play Shivana, four, five, six, we have six mana next round. If I play Zed, we have seven. I would rather have seven. Pledge yourself to the shadows. What do you think Warlords landmarks proccing when I target allies units in hand is a bug? No, that's actually how it's kind of been. And like that's how it's been for I think it's gonna be big, but that's okay. That's actually how it's been, and that's how it's been for like Tarek. Um, the you know like Tarek counts like targeting allies, so they count the allies as not only just allies in play, but also allies in your hand count as well. So I don't get the I don't get the free attack at all. Well, that's a bummer. We can now resummon Aurelia, get another flawless duet. I thought I'd still get like the attack, and I would just be attacking, like not challenging. I thought that's how that worked. I really did. I thought that's how that worked. I thought that's how it's worked whenever I've had Jarvis before. I'm gonna do this then.
I guess maybe that attack. Okay, all right, I should I should use Cataclysm again. I guess that barrier attack was useless. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting them to go the other way, to not have this thing take the damage, and not allow me to attack again. So I thought that because they went that way that they would just have like a twin disciplines or something, but maybe none of those, and we're so close to playing this Remembrance. Okay, they had a lead and follow. All right, so we can't block because they'll make the blade surge. I can't block. So we take four, go down to four. We can't give them priority again. No Will of Ionia right now. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll take it. Four and one. None escape their shadow. That's kind of a tough call of what to do of like play the repose to go for lethal or just you know, because then that taps out or just, you know, be able to attack again. Okay, so a four one, very impressive, and we defeated the uh, um, Ionia Shirima decks that everybody's playing these days. We played against Aurelia Azir twice and Sivir Zed twice. One of them had an auction in it also. Uh, but we went 3-1 and one in those matches, losing to Aurelia Azir one time. Uh, whenever they, you know, had the, a very, very good hand that it took to defeat us. Um, but yeah, I really liked, I really liked the deck. Both Sivir, and, or sorry, both Shivana and Zed played really well. Was Shivana better than Fiora? Maybe, maybe the uh, the cost the four mana cost instead of three mana is pretty rough when you really want to play something around three. But then you know it gets so big and having the fury, all that kind of stuff is really nice. So yeah, maybe I loved having the remembrance in here. I thought that that was a really good addition to this kind of deck to kind of give you like that third really good threat. Um, I thought that, that that's a really smart thing to have in here, and that works great with the Zed, with the Living Shadows on the Zed, and that you can play this on round four after, you know, after playing Zed on round three, because um, you can even go like Zed plus two mana spell with Twin Disciplines or Sharp Side on three, and then four if you're, you know, then attacking on four, or the, you know, you use your, use your spell on your Zed, whatever. But anyway, but then you get to Remembrance on four. I thought that worked out really well. And that gives you your extra insurance where, you know, like, when you play Fiora and Zed together, you need to have one of them on three. But, like, with this, like, if you don't have your Zed on three, you can still go Remembrance on three and then into Shivana on four and everything like that. So I thought that worked out. I thought that was really, really nice. And, yeah, everything worked out. Blade Keeper is just so good with these kind of cards, too. I love, love the Blade Keeper. Love the Blade Keeper. Don't really like Highwayman, but, you know, Highwayman kind of does some stuff love like you got to have some one cost spells and so i liked having like the, ch the two chain vest and the ghost like having like a couple of one cost spells to just kind of pair with your two cost spells um i like that quite a bit but there we go all right so that that worked out uh perfectly all right so four one great way to start the day with zed shivana those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to try it out you know if you're struggling against those uh, Ionia Sharima decks that we uh, that you're gonna face a whole lot. We did pretty well with this one. Maybe try it out. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. If you like attacking, because this deck's all about attacking. You play some fast games and get to attack a lot. That sounds like a good time to me. So let me know how it goes. I would uh, love to hear about it. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Zed Shivana. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.